Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to tell you about my absolute favorite lipstick and show you some dupes that I have discovered. I did a little research because this Pillow Talk is my absolute favorite lipstick. This is an iconic lipstick that is all over YouTube and I can certainly see why. I tried lots of different nudes and none of them really looked good on me. I was very used to those kind of middle-aged berry colored lipsticks, which are still nice, but after looking at nude after nude and just feeling like they either washed me out or they looked orange or they looked wow wow pink, I realized that this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk was absolutely my favorite color of a nude lipstick. It's a wonderful rosy colored nude and it is used by many of the movie stars because it is just a universal type color and everyone loves it. Now, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things youthing, that is if you're 30, 40, 50 and above and interested in makeup and good skincare, then I hope you'll consider subscribing. And when you click that little bell, that just notifies you of my twice weekly videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, I would appreciate that too. Okay, let's get into this. This is the new one I just bought and it was an ouchie because it is $32 and I think this is my fourth tube. And I go through this very quickly because I tend to wear it every single day. So I thought, why not look for some duplicates or dupes as they call it on YouTube and share the information with you. And I think I found some good ones. Okay, now I'm in a little bit closer so you can see my lips. I'm going to go ahead and apply the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick, the Matte Revolutions lipstick, just on the bottom lip. There you go. There is how that looks. Now I'm going to apply the four dupes one after the other and we'll see how well they match. The first one is this Flower Beauty Petal Pout lipstick in the color Spiced Petal. Absolutely love this one. And there it is right next to the Pillow Talk. And as you can see, they look very, very similar. And I'll just apply it on the top here. There we go. Now the Flower Beauty is on the top and it is $6.99, I believe, so very reasonable. And the Pillow Talk is on the bottom, which is $32. And although I'm a little challenged on my top lip, I'll try to do a little pout for you so you can see the difference. I don't think you can tell much difference in the colors at all. And here are the two swatched side by side. As you can see, the Flower Beauty is perhaps a little bit pinker and the Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit more orange, but they're very similar in color. And in terms of how they feel, they both feel absolutely creamy and buttery on the lips. And I've worn this Flower Beauty lipstick quite a few times and it lasts a long time too. Now I've removed the lipstick from my top lip, ready for my next dupe. And this one is only $4.99 and it's the Essence Ultra Last Lipstick in the color 08 Eternal Beauty. And I'll show you those two side by side. They look very similar. And this is the dupe here. And I'll go ahead and apply it on the top. And again, it's a rosy little nude color. So there is how they look with the $4.99 Essence on top and the $32 Charlotte Tilbury on the bottom. And here is how they swatch and you can see all three that we've seen so far. The Charlotte Tilbury, the Flower Beauty, and then the Essence product. They all look very, very similar. And I really do like these Essence lipsticks, in fact, just as well as the Flower Beauty ones. I was about to say they're among some of my favorite drugstore lipsticks, but actually I think they give even high-end lipsticks a run for their money. They're creamy, they're soft, they're subtle, and they last a long time. Now my next lipstick is $22. It's getting up there a little bit in price, but still not nearly as expensive as the Charlotte Tilbury. It's only two thirds the price of that. It's the Too Faced Natural Nudes lipstick in Pout About It. That's an interesting color, Pout About It. But I'll show it to you right next to the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Very, very similar in color. I'll go ahead and apply this one. There we go. There they are, the dupe is on the top, the pillow talk is on the bottom. And I'll show you a swatch of it. There it is added to the other swatches. And in the swatches, the pillow talk is the first swatch and this is the fourth one. And really, I almost think of all the colors, this one may be the closest. Now the last dupe that I have is $21 and it's the Smashbox B Legendary Lipstick in the color Do No Wrong. Now here it is, and I'll show it to you right next to the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, to the Pillow Talk. And as you can see, it does look a little bit rosier on the skin than the Pillow Talk, which is the very first one. However, some of you out there actually prefer a more rosy tone lipstick rather than the more coral lipstick here. But I'll go ahead and put it on my lips for you.
because on the lips, I really think you can't tell much of a difference. This one perhaps looks just a little bit lighter on the lips, but it goes on thick and creamy and lasts a long time, just like it's dupe. Now here I am back in the Charlotte Tilbury, and I would say that really any of these I would be happy with as a dupe, and they really all feel about the same on the lips, rich and creamy and very long lasting. I think you could use any of these very reliably as a great dupe for the Pillow Talk. And I will say I also use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Pillow Talk, and they call this the Lip Cheat. And I do have a dupe for that, and I will show you first how this swatches on the skin. There it is, that's how the Pillow Talk swatches. I'll make that a little bit wider. Very, very nice, long-lasting lip liner. There it is. And on the internet, other YouTubers say that this Rimmel Exaggerate in the color East End Snob is a good dupe. However, I don't really think it is. I'll show it to you. I think it's too pink. There, there it is. is. There's the Pillow Talk and there's the East End Snob. So now I'll show you a lip liner that I found that I think is an even better dupe than the East End Snob. And this is the Essence Self-Contouring Lip Liner in the color lost in love good color and i'll put it on this side i've got some lipstick there there we go there is the lost in love there is the pillow talk and there is the east end snob and i think this is a much better liner and i'll go ahead and use this one on the top the dupe on the top my lips are getting kind of raw and numb from all this lipstick putting on and taking off and as you can see that blends in very nicely with the pillow talk now I'll use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat on the bottom. Of these two, although I think this one works just fine, if you can spring for the $22 one, I think this is really much better. It just glides on your lips much more smoothly and I think it gives a very nice definition to it. In fact, I think I'll go ahead and use this one on the top to finish out the video. So that is how the Pillow Talk lipstick looks with its Lip Cheat matching lip liner. And I absolutely love this. And if you are looking for a nude lipstick, you might try the Pillow Talk or about any of those dupes because I think you'll be very, very satisfied. Well, that was a look at how to get the look of this iconic Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick for less than half the price in some cases. And if you're interested in saving money on all things anti-aging, I do a lot of high-end but also a lot of low-end drugstore type products here. And I hope you subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just notifies you of my twice weekly videos. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and today is no exception. I've been using these Language of Letting Go cards from Melody Beatty. Okay, let's see what God has in store for us to think about for today. Ooh, staying neutral. Staying neutral, that's intriguing. Today I will refuse to jump into the middle of others' affairs, issues, and relationships. I will trust others to work out their own problems, including the ideas and feelings they want to communicate to each other. Oh, friends, this is an absolutely wonderful card. Not only does it tell us to get our big fat noses out of the lives of other people, it also tells us that when they are communicating and working their problems out, not to jump in, just to sit back, be quiet, and let them take care of their own problem. In my first half, whenever anyone around me seemed to be having problems, for some reason, I guess I was playing God, I felt like I was the one that would come to the rescue and fix their problem. And in my second half, I've realized that I have plenty on my plate just tending to my own affairs. So friends, just for today, let's consciously think about staying on our own side of the fence. When we hear the confrontations or problems of others taking place around us, let's just sit back and keep our mouth shut and let them resolve their own problems themselves. Because when we do that, usually they're happier and we're happier too. Take care. See you next time.